Blue Child, I'm a big fan of Jude Bellingham. I'm probably not as much as a lover boy of him as Ian. No, that's a lie. He's a top class talent. But do you think his career right now, where he's at, he'll be better suited to going to play in La Liga or the Premier League? And the only reason I'm asking Great you question. this is because I've seen this with Jordan Sancho when he left Borussia Dortmund, Jamie. went to Manchester United, and people like JJ and James in the press who destroy these young lads. <laughs> I don't want to see that happen to Jude. I think for me, with Judy's age right now, and I know there's been interest from Real Madrid, I would love to see him go to Real Madrid and this young generation of players that they're gathering there. And I think for the long term, his career will be better suited playing outside of England, learning a complete different aspect and style of football with different players than going into England and becoming very British. What do you think? No, definitely it will be an amazing ad. And I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Real Madrid getting Valverde in one side, so I'm in the middle and Bellingham in the left side. I mean, what an amazing midfield. Uh, hungry, uh, fitness, technically, technically, and much more than that. Uh, football intelligence. This, uh, this kid could be... I mean, it could, be, it could change any, any team in, in the Premier League or in, in Spain if he continue this, uh, this uh, moment, if he continue being hungry, if he continue not just selling now, just wanting for more, being ambitious. And it looks like it's going to be like that. Today, once again, he was one of the key players. I think for me, in this World Cup, he's one of the most important players for, for England. Um, today, Southgate, in the moment that the, the game was under control, he just uh, pulled him off and tried to give him a little bit of rest because he know how important he is to, to keep him fit. So, yeah, it could be outstanding in, in both leagues. Uh, in La Liga, because... Physically, is so strong. You can see how much uh, grass he can cover. And arriving from second line is so important because uh, you know that if you play for Real Madrid, for Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, the top teams, you're going to face against teams that they are very well organized and disciplined at the back. So you know that you need these kind of players who arrive in second line. That's why Valverde now is, is starting getting considered one of the best midfielders because that approach, that that uh, different style of bringing things from outside the box, shooting, uh, arriving from second line. And in Premier League, because that rhythm of the competition, the Premier is go, is capable of, uh, of handling it. So, yeah, uh, all the best for the for the all the teams. Because definitely the price is gonna get, uh, be flying high uh, from mm -hmm. now on, and the, the one is getting is gonna have one of a cracker player in the midfield. Yeah, really good question by Nigel. And uh, as much as it pains me as a Villa fan to be praising a former Birmingham City mm. guy, you know, Bellingham is definitely one of the best uh, midfielders in the game at this moment in time, certainly based on form as well. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to the quarterfinal matchup between France and England because of the fact that it will bring Chiuamani up against Bellingham, sort of a battle of two of the really promising young midfielders who, you know, look like, uh, you know, they're going to be two of the, the absolute best, if not the two best uh, for the, at least the next decade. Uh, I'm with Nigel. I actually would like to see him, uh, you know, go to La Liga and not just because of what he continues to do on the pitch. I think, for English players to have, you know, one of the, the nation's leading talents plying their trade abroad in the future, I think will be really important because I think it's, uh, you know, it's a link that these players need to keep open. I mean, that Bundesliga, that Premier League to Bundesliga link has been really important with guys like Sancho, uh, with guys like Bellingham. And I, I'd like to see that continue because I've always felt that one thing that really held England back uh, in the past has been sort of the lack of culture aspect of it. There's been so many great players who I feel really could have thrived playing in a different type of football. And I think as long as you've got somebody of very high profile like Bellingham out there playing in a league that's not the Premier League, there will be English players, young English players, willing to go abroad, willing to take those risks and therefore, uh, you know, uncovering their talent instead of, you know, sort of staying at a club where they're not as high up the pecking order and therefore don't get to tap into their talent uh, as regularly. Listen, it's a great question, Nigel, and probably the best question you've ever asked. It might be the longest question ever asked on the show, but it was a good one. I think Jude Bellingham is in a great league right now for his development. He's clearly getting minutes at a high level. He's getting to play Champions League football. And by the time he's finished with the Bundesliga, I would imagine it'll be the summer. I can't imagine him making a move in this January unless someone offers ridiculous money. You, you, we're talking 100 games for him in the Bundesliga. He does have, what, 76 games right now. I think he's got seven goals, 13 assists. And you can see the way he performs for England. In many ways, it reminds me of 
of, and maybe Lucho, you can touch upon this in just a moment, is a Steven Gerrard. Now, there are qualities of his game that can improve, as we touched upon. He has the ability to get more involved in the box, to get more goals, to get more assists. Um, I just love his uh, mentality in the middle of the field. We know he's got a brain. He has a great football and IQ. Where to be, when to be. When to push forward, when to sit. When to fight, when to come back. It's just his brain. His football brain is just really on the next level for such a young kid. And I believe that not only the championship where he did play at a very young age for Birmingham City. I know, JJ, you love the Blues. Um, but I think that the Bundesliga has really been the perfect development for him. Now, where do I want him to go would be the question. Now, you think maybe La Liga would be the best fit. Now, I'm thinking for the Champions League, yes. But if I'm thinking for domestic football, the Premier League makes most sense for us to get the best out of Jude Bellingham because then he's being tested every single week, every single game, where I can't promise that that will happen in La Liga. Lucho, I'm, I'm really going to come to you on this one. I know Nigel wants to jump in here, but I would say that Liverpool would be a great move for him because he's going to help that club move forward. He's obviously going to the Premier League where he's going to test himself and he's playing pretty much European football and Champions League every single year. Lucho, thoughts on that? Yeah, of course. Of course, it will be a fantastic. You know how much is needed a player in the midfield for, for Liverpool at the moment with all the injuries that happen. A player who can give you that box-to-box -box situation. You were talking about Steven Gerrard and, of course, to everybody reminds him a little bit of Stevie because because that is strength that he's got. You could, you, we could see him today, not much because Senegal didn't put a, a, to really a test uh, on, on defense, but he, he tracks backs every single time. He goes forward, he's, he's going in the, right, in the right side, he's going to the left side. He can appear in everywhere else, anywhere on the, on, the, on the field. And much more, you can play him in many different positions. And that's something very important because I'm sure that he can handle the situation of being a stick as a, as a holding midfielder. Let him the freedom uh, as a winger. Uh, if you allow him to play as a, as, as a Muller for, for uh, Bayern Munich or for the uh, national team, that role of playmaker that he can arrive and go down and arrive in second line because he's got that strength physically. So, yeah, I think that it will be a fantastic feat for Liverpool and we'll see what happens because I've seen a fantastic connection today with Henderson in that celebration. Mm -hmm. I agree with you in quickly and I just think I'm going to jump and join with JJ. I'm with JJ. I think for, us, for England to really develop, to get to that next level, they need more players playing outside of England in the Premier League. And when you look at the clubs, if you do go to a Real Madrid, let's be honest, Real Madrid is the biggest club in world football. Mm -hmm. You're going to get La Liga football. Yes, it's a bit more different technical aspect of it, but you're going to be competing in the Champions League, which is what he wants. Yes, he's going to play against top players in the Premier League, but we can't act like the Premier League has the best technical and most talented players. I don't think so. I think the Premier League does have a tremendous amount of athletes. It's very high tempo, high endurance, but we can't look down upon all these other leagues. You only have to look at these teams now performing in Tony, the Champions Tony League. Tony Cruz is a, is a great example of that one, right? Going to Real and that, Madrid that's, and that's my point. And, and being the and I think for his development, for what he will get and gain and bring to England, it's more beneficial going there because I just know what it's like playing in England and so do you. Going back there, he goes for big money to Liverpool. He's not performing or playing well. It's not all things he can control. The press is going to get on him. He needs to lose his place in England. No, he can go and play with freedom and relax at Real Madrid. He's young. He's hungry. He's not going to lose that. What you see in him is his character. I just think it's going to benefit England more going over there in JJ's point of just learning a different culture, different aspect probably more chance of lifting trophies as well if you do go to a Real Madrid than you would if you go to Liverpool. Sorry, Lucho, to throw that oh, one in. We'll see, we'll see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 